What's good, everybody? This is Green Spin Show, and my god, it has been a long time since we've had a commentary that isn't just me trying to attempt to live commentate. Um, hey, but how's it going? Um, it's currently the middle of the summer in Seattle, and I'm busy working, and everyone else is off, and it, it kind of sucks, but um, today was pretty eventful um let's see what happened um i saw a motorcycle crash today um yeah it was kind of messed up um i mean the guy was just he if he was driving his motorcycle through a construction zone and he hit one of the construction vehicles and just fell over on his side and just completely uh what's it well i don't know the right term for it like collapse he just squished his leg like his entire leg his blood all over the road and everything just wasn't wasn't pretty to see um but hey you know that's why you get a car you know if you value your life don't i mean <laughs> just be be safe uh, let's see what else um you know i'm still working still working hard uh moved to a new place um i think the last actual recorded like planned out commentary was over a year ago um and it's just it's just been a pain. Um, do I like my job? No, it fucking sucks. Uh, I absolutely hate it. Um, I sit in front of a computer and do nothing all day. Um, and ironically, I get paid for it. Um, and the, the stupid part is that uh, because I work a swing shift, uh, so like no one's around for a majority of my shift, everyone thinks I'm doing great everyone thinks I'm doing amazing and great and it's just it's a little ridiculous because you know I'm already lined up for all these promotions and everything and it's not happening because no one sees the nothing I do so we're probably gonna start looking for new jobs soon um, I could easily probably maybe double triple even quadruple what I get paid now um, just from one year of experience and I know it's ridiculous, but I mean, the, being having a college degree is great, but all you really need is just a year of like real world work experience, just to say, hey, guess what? This guy can work in a professional environment that's not structured, and he won't completely fuck up. There you go. Um, let's see. The cat's a year old. He's doing good. Maxwell's doing good. Um, you know, I've recently, a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends on Facebook, you know, and, I, and right now I'm, I'm 24, and uh, a lot of my friends on Facebook are getting married, and I just don't, I don't understand that. Um, you know, I was all, I always grew up, you know, my parents, you know, they got married in 1980, my dad was, I think, 28 years old, and then he waited 10 years, and then I was born. Um, so, it's just... It's just unbelievable because, you know, I always thought that um, your 20s should be, you know, kind of when you discover yourself. Um, but now everyone just just feels like everyone's jumping the gun, right? Everyone's just jumping the gun, getting married. Um, I mean, did I find someone in college? No. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, so, I, I don't know, it's just, just weird. I mean, when... When has that stigma changed where you get married in your 20s? Uh, just, I don't know, I guess I'm just part of the old school. That's just me. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is really old gameplay, by the way. Um, this is gameplay back, oh uh, boy, in t 2012, like I think May of 2012, before Black Ops 2 was even out. And yeah. It's just, I'm not good at Call of Duty, so I have a couple gameplays still when I was like, hey, I can actually get a uh, plus one KD. Look at that. Um, let's see, I've uh, been re-watching Sopranos, really enjoying it. Um, if you, like, I have only, the last time I watched Sopranos, like, it was, like, my first viewing um, during, you know, when it was actually on HBO, and now I'm re-watching it, and I'm just realizing how amazing it was just all over again. Um, currently in the season six with Kevin Finnerty, you know, the whole who am I, where do I go from here, and that's, oh, that's good, <laughs> really, really good stuff, um, love the writing for that show, 
it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, one thing I did kind of not like was, um, you remember how like, you know, all these TV shows get re uh, released on Netflix now, right? Arrested Development just dumped the whole season on Netflix. I mean, and it's just Netflix and like all that stuff, it's kind of ruined at least what television used to be. Um, and if you think about it, you know, when you have, you know, when a show released every week, like you remember Lost, like that Lost finished like kind of before Netflix and every week you would be theorizing and obsessing over it and you know 14 million viewers would do it and it was great fun to dissect all that now with like for example house of cards which on double whole season Netflix, which is a great show by the way it's just like you want you bulk you bulk watch like five episodes and that's it you know it's one and done and it's just it's ridiculous um because the whole idea of waiting a week for an episode or even a week for like two episodes or three episodes like it's just that's what makes TV great, and uh, that's lost. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Um, I'll definitely be doing more of these in the future. Um, I do have a Twitter and an Instagram and all that bullshit. Um, links are in the profile. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.